This is the take. We are making it happen. Hey everybody, welcome back to Sam Can Do. I'm a mom, I'm a maker, and today we're making something that I think is so freaking beautiful. And I can be kind of a tomboy, but I am feeling all of the girly floral feelings about this. But the coolest thing is, is this is the easiest glow forge or just acrylic tutorial I've ever come up with. And it is so easy. You don't even really need a glow forge to make it happen. You can be anybody. All you would need is a drill um, and these things and some acrylic. So the first thing you're going to need is a camera that focuses. God, why? Hello. I am the subject matter today. Thank you. Okay, you're gonna need these little standouts. You can buy them on Amazon. They come in sets of like 12, and then you're gonna need some acrylic. I both use thin acrylic and thick acrylic. When I say thin, that's more like one eighth of an inch, and this is one fourth of an inch. I actually think the one fourth of an inch works better, but I ran out of it, and I have the thick acrylic, and it's nice. It's a little bit more difficult to work with, but either will do just fine. With, of course, Glowforge proof grade, you get them in kind of these big 12 by 18 sheets. And you'll need some flowers to press. Now, I actually don't like flowers. I tried some flowers for this and some of them came out okay, but I love foliage, foliage, foliage. And so I actually found some of my favorite pieces were weeds that I found in my front yard. Weeds, weeds. So great, like these little, I actually was really worried that I picked poison ivy. Um, and you don't have to press them in a book for a million years. I'm actually gonna grab some. I actually put these in the microwave. Now, white flowers do yellow a bit. I put them in the microwave between two pieces of paper towel. I put them on the defrost setting and um, just did it at like 30 second to one minute intervals until they were completely dry. And this worked so well. Um, it's really hard to find something that's kind of heavy that works so. Um, so I found, I don't know what I did. I think I did some glass Tupperware they had, squished them in between, redid it. And the reason you want them to be totally dry too, A, they're flatter because all the moisture is gone, but you don't want any mold or fungi to come out of those or to be put in there. Now I did come up with some hiccups while I was working and this is actually like a messed up piece. So I have a little Glowforge hack for you. Maybe you can see these edges are kind of jagged. Um, you probably can't tell here, but in real life, like it, it bothers the ever living heck out of me. Yeah, you can see, let me see if I can get the reflection on that corner, how it's not a perfect corner. And that's because this is such a thick material. Now with the regular acrylic, you're gonna cut it at 130 full power. It's probably gonna have no problems for you. But the thick acrylic, it's like closer to 115. And I found that that doesn't actually cut all the way through. So there's a little feature when you go onto the Glowforge app, um, I'll show you, you go in, you say the power and the speed that you want it to use, but you can also tell it to do an extra amount of passes. And that is what I did with this. And I don't know why I've never used that feature before. Everyone's probably like, you're an idiot. All of us know how to add passes to our Glowforge projects, but I am just figuring it out. And that's why I have this channel. I'm figuring it out and I'm sharing with you um, my journey too. So, um, yeah, you just cut out whatever shape. And what I think would be really pretty, I didn't do because I feel like it actually didn't fit my space that I'm using it for in my bathroom, is you could do octagons, you could do hearts, you could do anything. You could create a border edge for it. I think it looks pretty just like this. Um, and then you just stick the little standouts inside. Uh, you could do anything. I mean, you literally could buy a sheet of acrylic on Amazon or from Glowforge or from wherever you get acrylic and drill four holes and press some flowers and stick it in there. I um, put mine down and I, I decided which way I wanted the flowers to be facing up. Put a piece of glass on top of it and literally that is it. Let me show you the two pieces I came up with and how I made them. So this is the first one. I still need to wipe these down. It is just two weeds, literally two weeds from my front lawn and a small piece of baby's breath. I actually spent all this time buying like roses and I try to dry them out and they were too big, but this is one of my favorite ones. It's just two weeds stuck together and a little baby's breath flower. Like how cute is that? And the thing is, is I'm a plant, I'm a plant obsessed woman. We've discussed this on my channel before. If you haven't, there's a video all about my plant obsession um, and making some cool propagation projects, but I have a bathroom with no windows. So like I can't have any plants in there and it's really not working for me currently. So 
This is the one that's, oh, it's got so many smudges on it because I've showed it to so many people, but this one is going to hang in that bathroom. The walls are white and I am beside myself with happiness and joy. Now, if you'll notice, you can see that on this big circle one, there's a little bit of moisture left in there because I didn't fully dry it. This looks so bad with all these smudges. I swear to you, this is gorgeous. Um, and I'm kind of worried that I, I didn't want it to brown too much. This is part of my Pilea or the Chinese money plant. Cut this from inside, dried it out, put it in here. And I freaking love the minimal look of like this leaf and the baby's breath and the weeds from my front yard. Um, but I don't know if it's gonna get moldy. I don't know if it's gonna work. I didn't want it to burn and I was, it was in there for such a long time. The thicker leaves take a long time but I'm hoping that this one will be okay. I absolutely love this. I know this is a super fast, quick, and simple tutorial, but all you have to do is put the things in there, squish it, and you are done. I'll share my files that I use for this, but honestly, you don't need them. Even in the Glowforge app, you can search now square, triangle, rectangle, and circles, and then depending on whatever size your screws are, easy, simple as that. <sighs> now all I have to do is hang these up and we're done. Now, in true YouTuber fashion, I totally acted like this was the easiest thing ever, but I did come with, I did have some issues when I was hanging this up, I'll show you. So you see how I'm missing leaves on that one? That's because I didn't use any type of adhesive to glue the pieces to the actual acrylic when I was clamping them together. I just was hoping that the pressure of the, um, standouts holding it together would be enough to hold it together. It kind of is, it kind of isn't. Um, I really would have glued them down looking back using some sort of epoxy or I, I'm not sure what. You might have to troubleshoot. Now for the second one I hung up, I used clamps to hold it together while I was assembling it, but it actually cracked the leaves. Can you see the cracks right here? So I would be careful of that too. Now how you're actually gonna hang this up, let me go over the tools really quick for you need. First off, you're going to want a level, unless you're crazy like me, and you want to do it by sight. You want a level to put it on there, make sure it's even. Then after a level, you're going to want a pencil to mark. Um, I put the standouts on it, held it up against the wall, marked it. Um, then you're going to need drywall anchors. So I drilled into the hole, the drill bit. If you don't know how to use that, Google how to use drywall anchors. Drilled into the hole, put the base of the standout on, which is... The piece that you see right here, see there's a drywall anchor, the screw goes inside the base, attaches this to here, and then you screw this into that, holding the piece totally together. You might need a hand, It'd be nice if you had a second person to hold it up while you're screwing everything in, um, but yeah, my bathroom now has plans forever. We came to this channel today. I'm so grateful that you were here. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being a part of my life and making my dreams come true that I get to have this as my second job, my second income. Um, I hope you know that I very much, very much am grateful that I have this platform as small but wonderful as it is. If you haven't already, subscribe to the Sam Can Do crew. Be a part of this community. It's free for you. It helps me. And more projects and opportunities to just escape and watch someone else do crafts can come to you instantly. It would really help me out. I'm trying to get 5,000 followers on my channel. That's a personal goal of mine. And yeah, you can see more fun stuff like this. Follow me on TikTok. I actually have 32,000 followers on TikTok. I don't know who let me do that, but it's a lot of fun content. It's more about me being a mom and generally a trash person in general. Um, and you can see me on Instagram. Thanks so much for coming. Comment if you have any questions. I love you guys. Goodbye. Have a wonderful fall season.